Hey, I am Raja Kumar. I am going to talk about Informatica API Micro Gateway in this video. What is API Micro Gateway? It's a flavor of Cloud API Manager or Gateway product. It is primarily used to manage on-premise APIs, which are the CI endpoints. We have a preview release as of October 2020. We are going to talk about um, that in this presentation. The main functional features of uh, API Micro Gateway is to manage and proxy your organization's APIs. So it is uh, CI APIs initially. Um, with the API Micro Gateway, you can have the API, complete API lifecycle management, which means like we would be able to create uh, managed APIs, update them with access policies and um, read those APIs which are uh, created and then if required we would be able to delete those APIs as well. Uh, API Micro Gateway also allows you to enforce authentication on these APIs. For now we support basic authentication. The access policies that are supported are uh, rate limit and IP filtering. By rate limit we would be able to limit uh, the access of the APIs to a certain limit to, to, to a rate and then uh, with IP filtering we would be able to uh, allow or deny um, the access of uh, APIs from certain IPs. As part of the audit management uh, we have uh, activity logs and event logs which tells you like uh, how the APIs are getting access to what uh, kind of events does the APIs generate. So how do you get a hold of the API Micro Gateway? So uh, it has a custom license which has to be provisioned through the global customer support. And once the license gets provisioned, uh, you have an API Micro Gateway service um, on your secure agent downloaded, installed and running. And uh, once the, when, when this Micro Gateway service is running, you, this exposes the rest endpoints through which you would be able to create uh, those managed APIs. So there are certain prerequisites to have the micro gateway uh, service running uh, in this preview release. That is uh, one, um, the secure agent should be running on an Emacs host. So we are going to support only the Emacs flavor for now. And the uh, secure agent host also should have the Docker runtime pre-installed. For this release, we are going to support only the single secure agent mode, uh, which means we are there is no support for the secure agent groups. On a high level, um, um, the components, different components that are involved in the API Micro Gateway is like you have an API Micro Gateway service in the secure agent, um, which exposes rest endpoints to create those managed APIs. And once the APIs has been uh, uh, created, you could build and deploy, um, uh, which creates an immutable API micro gateway image in the Docker. Um, this, this gets um, uh, booted up as an API micro gateway container, which exposes the end uh, access, API access endpoints. So the API micro gateway app um, in turn applies all the uh, limit, uh, all the policies, access policies and uh, authentication enforcements, and then forward the request to the backend endpoint or the CI endpoint. As part of the demo, I'm going to take you through the following flow where we are going to create managed APIs, build and deploy, and then access those APIs. So first, to begin with, I'm going to show you the, the administration administrator app in the IACS. Um, if you go to licenses, you would see um, the custom API micro gateway service license, which has been provisioned to this org. And as this license are provisioned, um, you can see the runtime, one of the runtime environment having uh, the API micro gateway service up and running, uh, similar like other uh, services like process server, which shows the CI endpoints. Um, as I told earlier, um, there are uh, REST endpoints which are exposed, and here is one REST endpoint which tries to create um, uh, no uh, basically um, uh, anonymous API. And as you can see, like uh, it takes in the path methods and the set of uh, policies. 
through which you would be able to create an API and it basically uh, sub, uh, goes to this endpoint at the back end. So I have created some of these APIs already in this in the, in the, in the system. So I could um, see like what are the APIs that are available. As you can see, there is a host of uh, APIs which are available. I'll show you how to update uh, an API. So, so we are going to update an, um, an API, which is NOAC API that we have already created. So which has, a, which for which I want to create, reduce the rate limit to four, uh, which was five earlier. So now it has been reduced, I could reduce it to four. So now if I go back and check, um, this should have been reduced to four. So the API has been updated. So we could even um, now go and build an app, build an API micro gateway app, which is which takes in uh, the Docker uh, image name and the tag. I have pre-built those uh, images and then have deployed them as well. So the deploy API also is a similar API which takes in this uh, the built image and then deploys it as a container. So if I have to show you how this gets deployed, um, so this is a view of the deployment. Basically, we have um, blue-green uh, containers uh, which are hosting the API Micro Gateway app for the zero downtime. And uh, this has been, um, th there is a HA proxy which sits in front of these containers acts as a router to route to one of these active containers. So as um, this has been deployed now, I'll go back and show you how the access happens. Say this is the API that we have created. So when I try to access this, so I have got the response back uh, by reaching the CI endpoint. And as you know, we have set a rate limit of four. Let's see if that gets uh, enforced. Okay. Yes. As you can see, like um, the, the message has been throttled out since we hit the limit uh, of the rate limit. Um, similarly, I can show um, an API which has which supports basic auth. So here uh, the credentials are uh, enforced, and if the credentials are wrong, so you would get back an inval in invalid credentials uh, message. So there are some uh, references in the Informatica network which you can refer to, which talks about the API, um, uh, API, uh, API gateway. Um, I hope you find this demo useful. Thank you.